Hi everybody, welcome to the summertime, but welcome also to Getting to Know Bebo, another in the series, of course. Um, we have our man, the mortgage specialist from the Bank of Montreal with us, Asad Naeem. How are you, Asad, today? You're looking nice and summery. Well, thanks a lot, Stu. Yeah, it's hot. It's a hot one out there, but you know, I'm doing quite well. How are you doing? Yeah, okay, steady. Steady, I think, with all the ups and downs of mortgages and things like that there's, there always seems to be something that uh, that throws um, a spanner in the works as it were you know but it's interesting yeah. because today we're doing and i got to give it its full title uh, navigating the mortgage stress test in canada so that's yeah. a that's that's a difficult one isn't it because it means either maybe get your your mortgage or you or you don't qualify so uh, yeah, absolutely. And this is a program just for BMO, the, the the program that just BMO do. So walk us through it, Asad, if you would. For sure. Um, well, it, the stress test is all across Canada, and it applies to everybody who's getting a mortgage, whether it's through a broker or through a bank or anything. But, you know, as a BMO representative, um, I have tips, and uh, I kind of want to explain to people what the mortgage stress test is, because a lot of people are quite oblivious to it. Some people who are already buyers kind of have an idea of what it is, but new buyers don't even know about it. It's not talked enough. So this is something that everyone should know about, especially if you're uh, venturing into the mortgage market to get a home. So definitely some useful information. So I want to start off by, you know, explaining what the stress test is and what the purpose of it is, right? Yeah. So the stress test came up some years ago when buyers did not have any qualifying limit and they were buying homes and home prices kept on going up. So the government of Canada introduced the stress test to make it a little more stern uh, and a little tougher for people to actually qualify and buy a home in hopes to actually cool down the housing market. So what that is, it, it ensures that borrowers can afford the mortgage payment, even if the interest rates rise or if you know their financial ch uh, situations change throughout the years. So let's just say your mortgage rate right now is five point something. If in the future, let's just say if you had a variable, if mortgage rates went up like it did the past two years, then they want to see whether you'd still be able to afford that mortgage. Or let's just say it comes up for renewal and the interest rate is higher than what you previously had. Can you still afford that mortgage or can you still afford to live in that house? So basically, that is what the main purpose of the stress test is. Um, and what it basically does is it helps to see whether you can afford the home, if you're financially stable, and it also prevents people from borrowing excess money because no one wants to borrow excess money and not be able to afford the payments for it afterwards, right? So how does the mortgage stress test actually impact the borrowers? What it does is you have your actual mortgage rate which your banker or your mortgage broker will give you and that's what your mortgage will cost now the stress test is your qualifying rate do you qualify for that mortgage and back in the day it was higher of the 5.25 or two percent added to what your mortgage rate was nowadays because interest rates are already through the roof the 5.25 doesn't even you know uh it's not even in the picture so it's now physical, well, actually just what your mortgage rate is and add 2% to that. And that's what your stress test will be. Um, and that affects affordability and maybe purchasing decisions as well. So what can you do to actually, you know, pass by the stress test and how can you beat the stress test? Well, th th there's not much you can do because there's still 2% that's going to be added on. But one way to mitigate it is by managing your debt properly. If you know you're going to go out buy a home, know what your debts are. Know what's going to show up on your credit bureau score. Because remember, at the end of the day, every mortgage decision is based on a debt to servicing ratio. So if you have a lot of debts, um, sorry, a debt to income ratio. So if you have a lot of debts compared to your income, that's going to make it a lot more difficult for you to qualify, regardless of what your interest rate is and where the stress test lands, right? Not only that, improve your credit scores, right? Pay off some debts, pay it off timely, right? Um, even if you're giving 20% down and you have bad credit, then, you know, some banks will look at you with, you know, the crazy eye. Uh, so make sure your credit scores are okay. 
reduce any other financial obligations that you have, right? And maybe save up for a larger down payment so you can try to afford more, right? So these three to four items will increase the borrowing capacity that you have and make it easier for you to meet stress test requirements. So that's in a nutshell of what the stress test is, how it impacts you as a buyer and what you can do to navigate through that stress test. And once again, Stu and I are here. Um, Stu, you know the real estate market. I'm here to help out with mortgages. And we'll, we'll help you navigate through this test stress, stress as well. So, all right. Well, that will, that will be it for this item to go onto our YouTube channel. And then uh, we'll pick up another topic for next week. I'm sure if anyone can think of a topic they'd like us to cover, we could do that as well. Um, Absolutely. And, and I'll talk to you this time next week, Asad. Yeah, look forward to it. Thanks all right. I'm, I'm going to go out and sunbathe now. Enjoy. <laughs> See you later.